हेलो एवरीवन सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड विजन सो नेक्स्ट सेंस ऑर्गन नेक्स्ट सेंस इज टेस्ट वी नो द ऑर्गन इज टंग सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट इज बेसिकली हाउ बेसिकली टंग सेंस डिफरेंट टेस्ट एंड हाउ बेसिकली ट्रांसडक्शन अकर एंड व्हाट इज पाथवे इन्वॉल्व ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फाइन सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट टेस्ट देयर आर अराउंड फाइव टेस्ट व्हिच वी कैन डिस्टिंग्विश दैट इज स्वीट sour salt bitter and umami so we know that the sense organ involved in taste is tongue okay on tongue on superior surface of tongue we have different papillas okay so there are four types circumvellas circumvellate foliate fungiform and filiform filiform we don't discuss because we don't have any taste bud within that apart from that if we C one papilla. The papilla is having a number of taste buds present. Okay, and the taste buds have the receptor to sense the taste. Fine. So we'll be talking about in next slide. If we see tongue, the nerve supply is the anterior surface of tongue is supplied with facial nerve, the seventh nerve, and posterior surface, posterior one third is supplied by ninth nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve. Okay. if you see the how the papilla are arranged so this is the arrangement of papilla in which we have taste buds okay if we zoom one taste this and see this looks like this image so this is one taste bud which is opening on superior surface of tongue as taste pore okay within taste bud itself there are one is the olfactory cells the the taste cells are present and there are some supporting cells are present okay and we have taste pore on superior surface we have saliva here which increase the transduction pathway okay next is these uh, taste buds are supplied with the gustatory afferent nerves which are nothing but the ninth and seventh nerve. on the other, on the other hand on pharynx itself uh, on epiglottis we have some taste buds there also okay supplied with uh, supplied with uh, the tenth nerve the vagus okay so now let's see how basically different transduction occur so we have five tastes the transduction of uh, all those five tastes are or we can say they can be divided in two parts one is the transduction of sour and salt and other is transduction of rest three so that's why we'll be uh, we'll be discussing transduction in two parts so here transduction of sour and salty so within sour the the stimulant is h positive and within salt the stimulant is sodium ion fine now let's see how basically the they basically excite the taste cell and further leads to excitement of the now ending present below okay. let so here let so here let's see about first sour so so is basically the when h positive ions comes in contact with the taste pore fine what they do is they basically inhibit the potassium channel present here as the potassium channels are inhibited means potassium efflux is inhibited that means the potassium concentration increase within cell that lead to depolarization and there are the calcium channels which are voltage dependent calcium channels so that depolarization lead to the calcium influx which depol depolarization of the cell leads to exocytosis of the neurotransmitter which is atp and serotonin here which lead to the afferent nerve ending firing and the signal is transmitted to cns we'll see the pathway later on but not only talking about only transduction next coming to salt the sodium which directly enters through the sodium channels and leads to depolarization as the ketionic uh, concentration increase within the cell which opening of opening of these voltage gated calcium channels and hence thereby the exocytosis of those neurotransmitter here also it's atp and serotonin which lead to afferent nerve ending firing okay so this is about sour and sour Come, coming to transduction of sweet bitter and umami which is also the same but here it's gp gated it's metabotropic transduction part it was inotropic it was inotropic okay so here what happens is basically the stimulant 
which acts on some GPCR that is G protein coupled receptor which lead to activation of some enzyme which is adenyl cyclase here which lead to ultimately formation of protein kinase A and ultimately either it can be potassium channel inhibition occur or increase in calcium concentration occur. So here protein kinase A which inhibit potassium channel so potassium influx is not happening which lead to increase potassium concentration lead to depolarization that depolarization lead to voltage gated calcium channel opening and calcium influx which lead to exocytosis of these neurotransmitters okay but this is the adrenal cyclase pathway on the other hand one more pathway can be involved here that is also metabotropic but this is phospholipase C pathway in which instead of cyclase phospholipase C is activated and converted into DAG and IP3. We know IP3 is basically responsible for increase in calcium store within the cell and that lead to further opening of calcium channel. So increase in calcium lead to the exocyte neuro the same neurotransmitter and afferent firing so that's how basically within the taste pore the metabolite acts on taste cell and below the afferent firing occur now let's see what happens after that how the signal is transmitted to cns that was we know that was we know that was we know that was seventh applied with supplied with supplied with seventh the point some part of some part of some part of pharynx via 10 three now these three now via 7th 9th and 10th cranial now the signal goes to nts medulla the nucleus of solitary tract the medulla okay from medulla itself the signal goes to thalamus which is ventro posterior medial nucleus of thalamus and from where is transmitted the signal is transmitted to primary taste cortex which is also called gustatory area here which is insula okay so that's how the signal whatever we are eating the transduction occur and that signal is transmitted to the related area of cns okay the last part is the combinatorial coding what that mean basically we have various type of taste we have we are eating daily a lot of things with various tastes with various masalas so how basically that our tongue have that receptor how basically the tongue recognize which type of taste it is so for that we should know how basically one uh, one taste is basically activating one receptor or not so if one taste is basically activating a lot of receptor then it's very difficult to find out the taste but when we talk about taste they are followers are follow receptors are following label line principle what that means one test that one test is basically one taste is beating one stimulating one receptor and going to stimulate to give to give the signal to cns that this is this taste so very separate pathway so that is label line principle when we talk about this combination because various combination can activate some receptor so it's the dynamics of receptors that which taste is basically stimulating which receptor it's the overall what we are going to perceive at cns so each taste cell pauses a mixture of different taste receptors and all the taste fibers therefore respond to many taste compound and each compound excites spectrum of six spectrum of fibers so it's not only one because we have many things which resemble sweet so that sweet receptor is going to stimulate at that time okay so all the gpr gpcr the g protein couple receptors whatever taste is going to stimulate them is going to us make us sense that this is like sweet this is like umami okay so that's why those tests resemble the main five taste here apart from that they can these pathways the taste pathways they can regenerate if they, there is any damage within these pathways so they can regenerate within 7 to 10 days and even in anosmia when we have disturbed smell we have uh, olfaction pathway is disturbed or damaged then we have anosmia so disturbed smell so in that case also we have disturbed taste because around 8% taste is smell only 
and we have intermingled taste and olfactory pathways that's why when smell is disturbed we have disturbance in taste also form so till now we have covered what is what is taste how basically what are taste buds how is the distribution how is transduction occur and later on how the signal is transmitted to cns so that's that's all about taste thank you so much for watching